Good morning, class. This is Mr. Tuttle, and I'm going to discuss the second of the two t problems. This one is finding the probability when you have the t value. And again, you have a choice of three ways to do this, although uh, really one of these three ways uh, doesn't work quite as well as the other two. Suppose we want the probability that t is greater than 1.501 for degrees of freedom equals 39. As before, we'll draw a rough t curve. Uh, the horizontal axis gives you the t values. We'll shade in the area we're interested in, although uh, here we know that the, uh, the, the critical t value is 1.501, and we're not sure what the area is. Using the table in the back of the book, uh, the logical way to do this is this time starting with degrees of freedom equals 39 and go across until we find a column whose t-value is 1.501. Well, there aren't a lot of columns in the t-table and there is no 1.501. Uh, the best we can say is that at a one-tail of 5%, the value is 1.685 of t. At 10%, the t is 1.304. The 1.501 is somewhere in between them, and so therefore it's somewhere in between 5 and 10%, but that's really not very precise. So this method is uh, only going to work if, uh, if your probability happens to be one of those that's in the table. To do this in Excel, the Excel formula is equals t period dist period rt then 1.501 and 39, which gives 0.071. And this gives you the, the right tail probability. Uh, to do this in StatCrunch, uh, as before, go to My Stat Lab, go to a problem that has StatCrunch as an option, click StatCrunch, click Stat, click Calculators, click T. Uh, then we get uh, something like this. Enter 39 as degrees of freedom. And again, we have probability of x either less than or equal or greater than or equal, and then the two boxes. Uh, this time we want the greater than or equal. We want the value of 1.501. Compute. And there's an area of 0.071 on a rounded basis. Stack crunch filling in the second box. Let's do another one. Suppose this time we want the probability that t is less than 1.5, sorry, less than negative 1.501 with degrees of freedom equals 39. Uh, well, this has the same problems as the first one did. Uh, the 1.501 doesn't appear in the table, so we can't use the tables themselves. We want a left area, so if we use Excel, whose t formula is a right area, 1 minus the right area will give us the left area, and that's 0.071. Doing this, whoops, didn't want that. Doing that in the stat crunch, we'll change this to a less than or equal. We'll change the value to a negative. It compute, and there's the same 0.071, which uh, by symmetry we, uh, we knew from the first problem. So that's really all there is to, to this second T problem. Uh, practice with a few of these, and you'll see they're really not hard.